Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and this is a uh, quick look at something that is brand new in the uh, receivers that I have which is the ICOM ICR30 that will be tested uh, thanks to Kevin J. Napalo. I uh, received this uh, very nice gift of this portable wideband receiver so this ICOM ICR30, what it is, is a wideband receiver. It starts at 100 kilohertz and the lower part of the spectrum, long wave, goes all the way up to 3,304 megahertz, that's 3.3 gigahertz in the UHF range. It has dual VFO, so I can listen to two signals at the same time, dual recorders, it is interesting in the VHF, UHF range because it decodes a variety of different digital modes, P25, uh, DPMR, and even um, D-Star. I've actually been decoding a few signals in D-Stars, a few nets and uh, amateur signals in D-Star, which is kind of cool. Now, this receiver will be tested. Of course, this is the upgrade that ICOM sells to the good old R20 that I purchased many years ago. Um, we will have videos comparing signals from both receivers. We will have videos, of course, talking about the ICOM ICR30, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy all of these videos appearing on the VHF UHF channel, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to uh, check it out. Um, I will probably have several videos with, um, you know, uh, how tutorials on how to use and um, use the different functions of the R30 uh, like I did with the R20 and post them here on the channel. So hope you enjoy these uh, videos that are coming up. But this is going to be a lot of fun. I've already been testing it for the past uh, several days. Um, you know, listen to DMR, uh, not DMR, D-Star signals. I've uh, listened to 1P25. I've actually, it has, you know, an XDN. I've been uh, doing dual scans on uh, VHF, for example, on one, UHF on the other. Uh, the wideband receiver, this one is the USA version that is locked for cell band. So um, there's a little chunk of frequency there that isn't uh, available. But for the most part, uh, really, really nice to uh, check it out. Uh, I will have a full review coming up so it's, it's the reviews are going to be in two different channels i'll have a full review of long wave medium wave short wave for this receiver with its capabilities and i will have a full review for the vhf uhf performance also here so each channel will have a review but that will be based upon its own uh channel subject which is either shortwave or VHF, UHF range. So hope you enjoy the videos, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play around with this. I've already been having fun this weekend tuning different signals on the receiver. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.